Hey, welcome back! Let's build, 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 build! This is the Lego Friends Mia's Wildlife Rescue, which I want to call, like, Safari Adventure or anything other than Wildlife Rescue, because that's, it sounds like so many other Lego sets or variation of it. This one has got a giraffe and a zebra in it, so, I mean, we're on Safari, dudes. So, there are 430 pieces in here, it's $80 in Australia, dashed a little giraffe tushy right there poking out of the box. Oh, look at this box. It's got these lovely flat bags in it. They're starting to integrate the paper bags, I believe, into the uh, into the Lego set. So we'll see when they start turning up. We've got everything we need here. The stickers were higher hanging out in the book. It's lucky I know to look for them there. Like that one. And yeah, we got everything we need. Oh, I must remember to say thank you to Lego for sending me this set as a gift. Oh my gosh, I just love getting <laughs> Lego parcels the best in the world. Right, let's have a look at the mini dolls. There are three of them that come in this set and we'll look at the animals too. So the first one is Mia. She's got a brand new top with a yellow bandana, a little safari-esque coloured vesty kind of thing. And I really, really like this top for her. It's kind of, it's much less busy than the ones that they had for the jungle adventures, which were a similar colour. And that's where we first saw these pants as well in this colour and with the shoes too. Uh, she has got a grey walkie-talkie and she's ready. So let's have a look at the next mini doll who is a brand new character for this set. So Dr. Makina is her name, according to the front of the box. She's got a brand new pants piece, really nice kind of neutral colors. Her torso is the female adult torso. Love the orange, sorry, the coral undershirt, little blue uh, denim -y kind of vest with, it even looks a bit bleached out, but it's got more curly cues on it than bleachy marks, but kind of looks bleached out to me. She's got Andrea's mum's face. <laughs> so maybe she's Andrea's mum. She's not supposed to be. And she's got a brand new hairpiece. This is so nice. This hairpiece uh, currently only comes in a Thor set, in the goat boat, which I struggle to say because it rhymes. But how beautiful is that hairpiece? That it just, yeah, it looks fantastic on a mini doll. She's a little bit wobbly. She's a little bit wobbly. I don't know if that's my tabletop. No, I think it's her. Gonna blame you, Dr. McKean. <laughs> it's not my tabletop's fault. And third mini doll, oh nice another character in this reddish brown skin tone so new pants piece as well new torso is he's got sleeves like why do the girls never get these little cap sleeves anyway i'll stop complaining he's got a, a nice vibrant coral bandana he's got a lot more detailing happening on his vest kind of like he's added pins and stuff to it and he's got face we've seen before that's uh elijah's head i think from the uh, canal houseboat and the hair piece we've also seen before a couple of times now too but it just suits him so well by the way this is joaquim i think that's how you pronounce his name joaquim <laughs> this is so fun so zebra Brand new mold. Actually, uh, it's not actually a brand new mold, is it? It's actually, is it actually just a foal? It's a foal mold, a baby horse mold, but uh, but now with the different coloring and with the zebra striping. But prepare yourself, because in this set there's also a scorpion. No, that was not where we were actually going, but there is actually a scorpion. Put it over here, just a little bit removed from the zebra. But the main event is the giraffe. Look at how big. This giraffe is, I did not, I mean, I don't even think I can truly portray the actual size on video here. You have to see it, <laughs> you have to see it in person. But if I pop him or or her, I, I have no idea what the gender is of this giraffe. It's actually irrespective for this set, it doesn't matter at all. So if I pop the mini dolls next to the giraffe, it actually shows you, they don't even come to the top of the giraffe's legs. Oh my gosh. I just want more safari animals. These ones are cute. Okay, so this is Mia's next step set, like in, in inverted commas. So she's going off pursuing her own, own interests like the other Lego Friends girls are as well. And this is her signature set. So e, she's at this safari place or, a, well, a, I don't know. I mean, it's wildlife rescue. Let's just build and find out what it really is. I mean, there's a giraffe and a zebra. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> shush, just shush. We're building, <laughs> my goodness, we're building a jeep or like a little vehicle sort of thing first got a box here with a oh, flower in it this this is familiar and we're putting the flower in, like is this a parcel are we shipping this flower oh no hold on this is like a strong box or a cold box so i'm just gonna make sure i have this on straight because it's going to uh really just just tipping the edge of the tile there but in the uh oh in olivia's olivia's ipad like facetimey thing 
She's FaceTiming Mia, or Mia's FaceTiming her, holding this red flower. <gasps> Look at that. Look at the tie-ins between the sets. That's so cool. All right. So uh, now I think we just need, no, we don't need wheels. We need a stick, a hook on a stick, and some binoculars for the back. So this is a little adventuring Jeep thing. Got an emblem on the front. So we got a Band-Aid, a blue elephant. Where's my elephants? Oh, hold on. We got them in another set. So we've got a giraffe, a little leaf. So kind of a logo on the front. And yellow inserted tires should probably finish this little vehicle off. I like the colors, the sunsetty colors paired with the, uh, with the vibrant coral. I, I just never would have imagined. I <laughs> can't fit that on with her hair there. That those colours would go well together. So a little Jeep. And we've got another subsidiary build, secondary build, like a hanging off the edge build, because we're depicting a bit of what's actually happening out in the environment. So where we actually are. I love the fact that Lego has used a light yellow piece as the base for this to depict the sandy arena or a sandy area. We've got a tiny cave bit with a pushy forwardy thing, and that's where the scorpion's gonna go. We'll try that out in a moment. And a tiny, teeny tiny waterfall. Seen this style of sticker before. Now that's not quite straight, but it, you can't really notice it once you put your little curved pieces underneath. It's really, the fine detail in this is really nice. There's a lot of extra tiling that wouldn't, it's not necessary, but it's really, really, yeah, it just makes it really nice and detailed. So we've got a yellowy sandy bit on top of the cave as well with some flowers. And now we get a tree, like a really gnarled, I don't get much water style tree. And let's try the scorpion. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. That's quite a projectile scorpion. Just do that gently, gently. Gently so the scorpion doesn't come flying out. Sand, green, leaf, foliage pieces. Did that come out with clear articulate English? I'm not sure it did. But look at this. Sand green. It's sand green. The one on the bottom. The big one that's brand new in this colour. And it looks fantastic tied in. So little flat, leafy foliage bits. And there's a ball joint on the top for this top bit of leafage here I'm just that scorpion just wants to get out it does not want to hang out in the cave at all that's that's a really really nice looking little environment build I love that all right we've got our extra pieces at the end of bag number one we're up to bag number two and now is when we start building the actual building we're building the building and we'll find out hopefully in here will give us a bit more detail about what's going oh what is this brick it's a, like a nougat colored tile which I think I've seen I remember seeing it before hiding behind a shield in a Harry Potter set I think it's the same color as that okay we got a welcome mat I'm just still blown away by that little nougat tile there that's a cut that's a color we normally only see in the skin tones of the minifigures and the mini dolls exciting it's like a new shade of brownie pink okay but I'll move on, but I won't because we're going to see it a lot because it's actually part of the striping that goes all the way around this building. So the colors here are just not what you'd expect from a Lego friend set. <laughs> They're so muted, and kind of dusty. I don't think that's a descriptive term for colors. So on this sticker, we've got some, some scientific equipment and medicine-y things, some little test tubes happening, another one of those stripe sets. And this is not, oh, I can't do this on camera. I'm going to have to, no, I'm going to have to take it off because I can't stand it. So, because there's a straight shelf on it, I can't bear it if it's, the sticker's not on straight. So some more, we got books with some giraffe bookends, some more medical equipment on that level two on the shelf. There's an open archway into the, no, we'll, I'll look at that later. Let's concentrate on this. So we have a sticker which gives you an ant farm. That's that's nice. A little ant farm. It's random. I don't know. Is it, a, is it a research base? I mean, that would make more sense with all of the scientific equipment, I suppose. But there's also medical equipment as well and an ant farm. <laughs> it's cute. All right. This bit goes... Uh, well, this bit gets some more of the striping on with the sand green and the vibrant coral and that nougat color, which you just would never have imagined go together. Here we've got some bathroom things like a mirror and some sunscreen. 
or maybe hand sanitizer and some tissues. No, definitely hand sanitizer because it's like a stop germ sign above the hand sanitizer like you have in hospitals. I'm really liking the level of realistic detailing on the stickers in the current wave of the Lego Friends sets. It's good. Okay, so this is what we've got for the base so far. Just putting some flat tiling-y bits in and there's jumper studs on all of those bits down the bottom. That bit of grub is just ingrained in that tan tile. Uh, so there's going to be some more things going on them. But on these walls up here, we've got those stripes again. Those lovely stripes of colours. Here they are again. We're seeing them so much. I'm thrilled. And a calendar. Calendar with an elephant on it. An orange elephant. And it's got you know, a date circled on it, which is probably one of the developer's birthdays. Sorry, the designer's birthdays. Because otherwise I don't know. I don't know what the significance is of the circle dates when they turn up on the calendars. Okay, on the outside, got a big entryway here with our welcome mat and just a few extra pieces. And yeah, this is a little kind of garage, just or even a drive through, drive through section. <laughs> I don't know, we're up to bag number three. And this is the bag that Joaquin comes in and he has an accessory. He's got a camera. So he can be here taking wildlife pictures as well. Or maybe he's a tourist. No, I don't know. I reckon they're all here studying. I think that's kind of the point of all of these sets for each of the five Lego Friends girls. So we have got a lizard sticker on our wall piece here. A couple of out facing bars in different directions. This is going up on the next note, wrong side, next level. And we're getting some nice big window pieces. Speaking of big window pieces, this transparent piece with the four by six by six piece, which is, is new in transparent clear. <laughs> transparent clear, is that even a thing? But it normally, it's come before in the transparent blue, in the blue, trans blue, that's it. But now it's trans clear, ta-da! Okay, next to that, there's a computer section. And I know that because we've got a keyboard. <gasps> this is a sticker I was looking at before that this looks like a whole is this a zoo or a, a safari park that's what this looks like like this is the information section and these are the different areas we got zebras got flamingos flamingos elephants uh giraffes we can do all of these too because we have all of these animals in lego friends and there's a checklist kind of thing off to the side and there's one for the other side too which kind of has a little dna thingy on it i don't know what these depict but the fact they're not lining up is really annoying me so i'm going to move them down so that i can line them up with the park image with the map of the park image there we go that's better all right more big windowy dory things which is good we get lots of light up here and then some tile sections to add some furniture to as we go along. But that's not till later. That's not till the last bag. Prepare yourself. We don't add furniture to this till the very end, which is interesting because it's not actually built in furniture. It's furniture that's designed to pop out so you can move it around to wherever you want it to be. And over the front entryway, we've got the logo again. Feels like it's like the vet hospital. It's a, it's a, it is definitely a vet hospital -y kind of thing from that logo but it does seem to be part of a wildlife park. Okay, got a tree kind of thing coming up the side here. This is uh, where we're up to at the end of bag number three. So we're up to bag number four and, oh, okay. So this is very cute. You can pop, you can actually store this leaf in that little box that we've already made, or you can stand up here and you're at just the right height to feed the giraffe. And this is a teeny removable, yeah, removable lounge for the top of the box. So tidy, so tidy and self-contained. Wish we had another leaf though, it only comes with one leaf. Okay, a big long brick orange thing. <laughs> Look at that, I mean, it's just a big long orange brick chunk thing, but we're putting these awesome graphics onto it. Was that English? We're putting these awesome graphics onto it. Yeah, I think that was English. The really, really nice, and this creates the striping definition for the front like really really prominent for the front of the of the building and this goes around think of, that doesn't want to hook in there that hooks in over there just to, like protrudes a little bit over the back but that's fine that's fine we could put maybe we put this leaf on that maybe we could hang that off that bit off the back that's sand green leaf sand green leaves so exciting so this oh no because it puts yeah it goes here because it's at the top of that tiny like depiction idea of a tree which is growing up the side of the actual building okay on the top on the top we've got just a tiny little spot here for a satellite dish 
well, I suppose it was either going to be that or solar panels for the Lego Friends set as they currently are. And another couple of bits of foliage here off the other side of the building. Looks really great. Okay, we're not done yet though, because now we get to build some of the furniture or the equipment that we need for the inside of the actual building. So this is a sink. I mean, quite obviously it's a sink. And we've got a tap, what I assume is some soap on the side or even just a detachable water bottle that you can take with you when you head out out on, into the into the park or into the, on safari and this bag full of all the vet equipment we have to put all this stuff somewhere so three of them according to the instructions are supposed to be popped in here in this little box and then we have to put some more of them on these clips which is super duper fiddly in here there is not a lot of space to get in in here I don't know about this stethoscope I think it has to go in not that way that pops off it has to go facing the other way little otoscope over there and then once again, nice and tidy, no space left unutilized. That box has actually got a scale or crossed over with an examining area on top of it. Very, very handy. And here is Mia's, <gasps> Mia's FaceTiming Andrea. Andrea at the theatre school. So they're all keeping connected. And there's actually a hook to hold it on, which I really, really like to store it on. And this is not quite straight. I want my clipboard with my, my zebra clip my zebra <laughs> checklist on it nice and straight it's got its own clip too and this bit of furniture is Ooh. so we've got a little pipette and in that drop that's going under a microscope there's some sort of bug or tiny lizard no it has six <laughs> six legs but it also has a tail so i'm a bit concerned as to what that might be and whether it's setting to mutate and take over the world okay on the second level got a couple more the places there for the stuff from the medical bag and oh, a spot for a chair yeah detachable chair in front of the computer or just the big display screen area i just love this i love i'm gonna say it again i love the graphic art in these sets currently they're really really detailed and they're really I don't know, nice. I <laughs> don't know what else to say. I just like them. So here we have got an x-ray of a zebra with a broken bottom bone bit there. That's the technical name for it, the bottom bone of its leg. Poor, poor zebra. So this is an x-ray machine. It's terribly complex. So it pops out here if you want to move it around but I mean you can just bring the zebra upstairs just levitate it up and get it on that x-ray machine perfect that's really great though I really like I really like all the details in here and the fact we have extra hooks just to store stuff so that they don't so that it doesn't fall out I really like storage for all of the extraneous bits okay so this is it in its entirety entirety and piracy speaking I, I really it's not as complex as Emma's set or as the theater set for Andrea but it is really really different to what we've seen before from Lego friends especially the color scheme such a beautiful set visually it pairs colors we don't normally see together so yes oh plus it's got a giraffe and a zebra I mean how on earth were we gonna go wrong yeah this is a beautiful set I'm just I'm finding it hard not to recommend any of these current lego friends sets because they really are beautifully designed really really interesting and different to what we've been seeing okay all right time for me to stop rambling time for you to subscribe if you haven't done so already and click the little notification bell and yeah leave me a comment let me know what you think of the set as per usual i love to read your comments and check back in because there's always more stuff going up so i'll see you with another video really soon goodbye <laughs>